Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Survive Russia, welcome to a springtime Russia here. We have an incredible amount of mud of course, today we are fixing up the Luas 969M, the Ukrainian Humvee, as we can call it. It is uh, actually made in Ukraine, in uh, the western Ukraine, Ukraine, Lutsk. It was made, it was made in the Soviet Union in Ukraine. I have tried to find out who actually designed this and so on, but there's no no, no sources on the, who was personally responsible for this little guy here. We have to get the vehicles ready because we have to go to our our annual uh, uh, two, three, four day camping trip with the tank and uh, whatever we have of vehicles. But that is a completely different story. Today we are filling up the the portal hubs with the oil. I'll show the portal hub in not too long. Because, uh, truth being said, I have uh, <laughs> I have not filled them at all since I uh, since I since I what is it called? Since I restored this little vehicle here, and that's a few years ago, and uh, I already done three of the portal hubs, so I'm not gonna bore you with doing all of them. But uh, there was very little oil in them. But uh, of course, the, it's constructed in a way, so uh, there will always remain some oil in it. So we're going to remove the front wheel here, and uh, then we're going to clean off the portal hub and fill it up with some oil. Well, as you can see, the snow is not all gone. Far from, actually. Well, it's not that deep any longer. What the hell was that? Ah. It's not as bad as the other one, actually. Thank you, wheel. <laughs> it can also be used for something else than uh, the awesome canvas uh, tent half. Some down, well, down here, we have a we have a Kalyushny reductor, as it's called in Russian. We have a portal hub. So up here we have the, the filler, and here we have a ventilation thingy. I should uh, actually take this cap off here and install uh, uh, some kind of a tube or something like this, a silicone tube. That'll be a little bit better, but uh, there has been no water in any of the, in any of the portal hubs. And uh, what can we say? That's a good thing. I remember some guy said that these will break, and they will break. They have not broken so far, and uh, this guy have been, uh, <laughs> has seen some really tough use, that is what dang sure. We of course need to get to the drain plug, right? So I have to remove the caliber assembly, and part of the caliber mount. And uh, we have the wheel under here, because... Uh, I'm not using a tripod because it's very, very wet. It's super wet. It's so wet that I'm already getting wet. Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, I got them. I know. Why? Pretty head is most likely in the way. I'll show you why I have to do this. When we remove the, the caliber here. Oh, 
it was not too bad actually. But uh, a little bit more problematic of course than on the other three wheels. Of course the wheel is safe for you guys. It's gonna be the most problematic one. <laughs> we should be able to see down here. We have four bolts, we have a lid here so we could actually inspect our our hub, but uh, as I guess everything is fine. But uh, I will have to uh, get rid of this guy here. Uh, where do we have to? Where can we put it? I have to get you guys out of the way. I don't remember how, how long ago it is, but like, I don't know, four years ago maybe or something, I completely restored all these portal hubs here. We have oil. It's just a little bit black. But we have to let it uh, run off as much as it can. It's a very thick uh, old school mineral oil, not old school, but modern old school mineral oil. As you can see down there, it's only dripping now. So uh, we're gonna install the drain plug again and uh, then remove the top one here. I don't know if you can see that if it's in frame or not, but we will find out for sure. <coughs> I could of course run some uh, diesel and this and that through this little portal hub here, but I don't really see any big need for that. Because that's the level plug. So let's see how it goes. So let's fill it up, see how much. It's gonna take, normally it takes 600 milliliters, but uh, since I have, uh, I've installed some, some aftermarket uh, sprockets inside, uh, the, the gearing is a little bit higher, so we have less speed but more torque. So the, the, the volume of the, of the portal hub is a little bit less than, uh, than original. The hub is full of clean, nice new oil, Russian oil actually. So we just close this guy here off. And we're gonna take a look at the, the gearbox and the, and the rear diff as well, what do you say? Yeah, we, I think we're gonna start it up. I think we're gonna run it just a little bit. This little beauty here is from 1985. It's an awesome vehicle, drives like a tank in the woods, but it absolutely sucks on snow and ice because of the extremely short wheelbase. We can almost call it a square wheelbase. <laughs> I guess I am greasing the, the wheel nuts here. Some say you should, some say you shouldn't. I'm in the camp, who does it, and uh, I can do it on all my vehicles, never had a problem, so you can take it for what it is. I like to grease the nuts, <laughs> because uh, we have so much mud and water, ice, whatever here, right? Down here we have a, a little uh, dipstick kind of a thing.
we do have oil and it looks uh, quite nice actually not too bad it actually looks like we certainly have what we need super cool let's get to the rear diff so that's the inspection hatch here yeah, for the rear diff and this is for the gas tank I suspect that there's a low level here we'll find out Oy. there's a lot of crap there that's what it looks like down there there's a little breather valve again it ran a little bit easier Let's see. It looks very nice. But it looks a little bit low. We have some uh, on the axles down there. I'll try and show you. But we have some uh, boot, axle boot seals, or what we can call them. Is these guys up there? I can see oil in them and they're not dripping. So, yeah, not too bad. There's not been any water in it either. So it's pretty cool, but this is a, a pretty cool vehicle. It's a very nice little funky vehicle, to be honest. It's a little bit better than the Humvee. The Humvee uh, is a master of uh, braking drive axles off-road while you're braking you guys have driven military Humvees you know exactly what I mean under the bonnet out there we have a whopping about 45 horsepower 1.2 liter V4 air cooled kind of a Volkswagen engine something like that we are neutral he most likely needs some choke. We need to to uh, get the ground on. Uh huh. Now both my sons are standing and looking. Oh, the kids love it. <laughs> the kids love this car here. Until next time guys, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Good to see you all again as usual.